Here we go! CouchPotatoGM.com is the website. Couch Potato General Manager is a YouTube channel. You know it because you are on it. We are here to discuss matchups. We do it every year. It's our third year in a row. Matchups. NFL draft matchups. NFL draft matchups. Yeah, we got two prospects, man. We make a top five, both of us, Drew and I. We look at our top fives. We see who's above who. And then we say, we're going to do a versus video, man. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it. And we want you guys to like and comment also. Mm -hmm. And let us know what you think. I got Keelan Doss, UC Davis wide receiver. Versus Nikhil Harry, wide receiver, Arizona State. I forgot to say him on my line, bro. I forgot to do it. Um, this is the sexy, sexy position, as I like to call it. Yeah, man. I think both these receivers win from the slot. I think they're going to be both slot receivers at the next level. Um, but I, I like Harry a little bit more. I'll tell you why, man. There's mm -hmm. three things. Okay. Three okay. things. Go ahead, bro. Run after the catchability. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Harry excels in that. He, he breaks through tackles. He he could he could break one. Um, and Killen Doss is more you know catch the football. He's gonna he's gonna get hit. He doesn't give you much after the catch. Secondly, I think Harry's stronger at the line of scrimmage. I think he could get away from jam. I know they're both in the slot, so they they might be able to escape jam. But if they have a nickelbacker that comes in his face, I think Harry would do a better job than Doss doing that. And last. Harry, man, he's a 50-50 he's ball catcher, man. He goes up, he gets it, man. He, he wins, he high points. Killing Dawes does, a, a, does the same thing all, also, but give me Harry, man. Harry just, he just, <laughs> Harry's just smooth, under control. He reminds me of uh, uh, Keenan Allen, man. Nikhil Harry. Yeah, I, I can't disagree with that. You know, he's not quite the route runner that, that Keelan Allen is, yeah, but right. um, definitely uh, both of these guys, it's kind of some, some splitting hairs. just depends on the flavor that you like. There's a little, little bit of a difference, but um, Keelan Doss, obviously he's playing in a lesser conference, but yo, man, I think if he had better quarterback play, he, he might be somebody's number one receiver because there was a lot of uh, thrown ducks up there. He does go up and get the football. Yeah. He does, you know, 50-50 balls, puts his body in the way, you know, and also what I like, what I like about him is is his shiftiness in his route running. I mean, he does just enough for me. Him, and He creates enough separation that between him and the corner or safety or whoever the hell's covering him that, you know, he, he, he he's open. And, and, and what's the number one thing you want from a receiver? What's the two things you, top two things you want from a receiver? You got to get open and catch the football. And, and that's what Doss does, right? Yeah. You know, Harry... I, He's a good route runner, but I don't think he has the wiggle nah, and the shiftiness he, yeah, he's quite. Not it's more smooth. It's yeah. more like, you know, you, you kind of like a like a Christian Kirk last season. Mm -hmm. He's just kind of smooth, and he just he knows how to get open, just like Christian Kirk. But I like what he does after the catch over Doss, and that's what and that's why I like him over Doss. I think that right there is the main difference between the two. Okay, two all right, bro. Let me let me ask you something, bro. You know you know who has that issue too, bro. Hmm. After the catch, he's terrible at it, bro. Who, Michael Thomas? No. Ooh, my goodness. I'm just gonna leave it right there. Check check them stats. Thousand yards every season. Yeah, Doss, you know, Doss reminds me of, of Michael Thomas a little bit. I know Michael Thomas came into the league and he wasn't a yak guy either. He's worked on it over the last couple seasons. So you know, Doss could improve after the catch. But I think I think Nikhil Harry is ready to go right now. And, and just like our previous matchup, I think he sees the field first and, and he gets the opportunity before Keelan and Doss. Uh, I, I disagree. I, I think both of these guys are gonna get. Uh, ample opportunity um, just depends on where they go and I, I think both of them can play the slot as well as the outside as well as the outside but I, I definitely think both of them are better slot players more opportunity more more opportunity there for both of them so um, so 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 let me get it right now let me let me say it now say it say it Keelan Doss Michael Thomas <laughs> Nikhil Harry uh, Keenan Allen so it's like a Keelan Allen Michael Thomas debate yeah. I, I mean but but obviously they're not as polished as those yeah, two guys. Yeah, they're not. And then, you know, both these guys, a really interesting point, man, because mm -hmm. it's like the big slots are in vogue right now in the yep. NFL, and both of these guys are big, and, and they win in the slots. You know, so both of these guys are going to be easily de deployed at the next level. Fancy alert. It might just come down to who has the better quarterback. Oof. Yeah, you might be right. Because, you know, Drew Brees, you see what he did for Michael Thomas. Yep. You know, no, no disrespect to Michael Thomas, but... Yeah. That's Drew Brees. Yeah. So let us know where you at, you know, on those two players, how you feel about them. Maybe you have a, a different um, comparable player. Let us know who that comparable player is, and, you know, we can, we can chop it up in the comments section. Uh,